Lane is with us in Wilmington, Delaware. Hi, Lane. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Great. What's up? Um, so in March, I passed my occupational therapy board. So I have my master's in occupational therapy. However, last year I started a landscaping business. It's been full time. So rather than getting a therapy job, I went ahead and um, did the landscaping full time. It's been a great source of income. I have $12,000 left in debt, and I'm honestly just kind of burnt out, so I was trying to transition into my therapy job now, so I have less landscaping jobs, and I'm kind of in a weird limbo where I I accepted an outpatient pediatric job, which I'm very passionate about, but it's only one day a week, and so that's not enough, and I'm having a hard time finding places that will take me for the other four days. Why did you Um, leave the job you had before you had another job? So I, I didn't. I am a small business owner, so I I couldn't grow anymore without hiring someone, and I didn't want to have to do that because then you make less. So I didn't have a problem. I, I didn't have a problem out, with that. I'm just saying, why'd you shut it down before you had the new job lined up? Oh, so I, I did not shut it down. Okay. Um, I am still doing it, but oh. I have less jobs now than oh. I did. did so you, did, did you intentionally take fewer jobs? Um, Yes, I did, because I honestly was burnt out, and my attention to detail was going down, and I didn't want to provide people services with that mindset. Um, And I was ready to get started with my professional career for what I went to school with. Um, That part I'm I'm in in complete alignment on. It's just the timing thing. Right. Um, what, What did you say? It was the timing thing. You dropped, you stepped off of one income to no income, I just would, would, I would have loved for you to have had your, I, I mean, I'd love for you to have just gotten, uh, you know, your, your, your occupational therapy job and just quit landscaping. Right. It's so getting credentialed through insurance takes like a month. So actually a month ago I sent in some applications and then I found out now after I already dwindled down the job that getting credentialed through insurance takes some time. Yeah. Um, and I do have $12,000 left of debt, which I feel like is eating me alive. Um, and I kind of feel like a bum having even like two days off a week. Um, so this is kind of just like a, I don't know, I can't go anywhere. I could go to a really great restaurant and apply and work there and make money. But, you know, who knows, in a month I might have to say I have to leave. You know, I don't feel like Here, that's morally right to do. So listen, listen, listen. You're cooked. Yeah. Okay. And I've sat with, I can't even tell you how many students who have finished their boards or finished the bar exam or finished whatever, and they're just cooked. And so where you find yourself is you are fried, but you did jump off. Um, you, you chose to stop paying attention to detail because you got tired, right? It's not something that happened to you. It's something that you chose to do. You are just zonked. Okay. And what happens when you get zonked is sometimes you start catastrophizing and start creating situations that then you try to solve that haven't even happened yet. Mm-hmm. So what I'd love to see you do is go find somebody in your community you can talk to. Just go talk to a counselor once or twice. Just go find somebody or go out with your friends, have people over to your house. I want you to be human again. Okay, you, You've been a robot attacking tasks for a long time. Yeah. You've been in fight or flight mm-hmm. for years. Okay, you're gonna have to take some more lawn jobs and just some more landscaping jobs until you land a full time job. And then here's what you do: you call your landscape clients and say, "I'm getting out of this, and so here's your two week notice." And then you move on, right? And they will find somebody yeah. else. But you have overthought this and overspun this because your body's cooked, and you just need to start laughing again. Invite some friends over to your house again. You got to make some money, so you're going to have to pick up some more jobs again. If you just can't start that lawnmower one more time, then go get a job at a restaurant. I just don't know why you wouldn't just do it for another five or six months. Getting your boards, it's fr- you thought you were going to run right into a new job. As soon as you pass that test, we're going to start on Monday, and then you realize, are you freaking kidding me? There's more hurdles? Yes, there's more hurdles. And so now you're right back in it. Take some more jobs, make some more money, but start being a person. Make, make the transition by Christmas. Yeah. But don't make it by Tuesday. Yeah. Don't make it by Tuesday. You're so close, honey. You're so close, and you're so strong, and you made it. You're going to be good, but you're not quite there yet. Okay? So and maybe make like Christmas my deadline, you're saying? I don't care. I just made Even that up. I'm, I'm I just made that up. tired of the landscaping. Yeah, you're yeah. tired. Hey, you're tired, but you're so close. This is a terrible example, and I wish I had another one off the top of my head, but this is live radio. <laughs> you know when you're in a long car ride, and you got to pull over because you got to go? 
and then it feels mm-hmm. right when you get to the gas station, all of a sudden it becomes a super emergency, right? That's where you're mm-hmm. at. That's where you feel. You just got to hang in there, okay? Don't go in the car. Wait till yeah. you get inside, okay? <laughs> Maybe mm-hmm. the, the, the worst live radio analogy ever. I, I think it probably qualifies as one of the worst ever. But yeah. <laughs> hey, I know you're fried. I want you to have some people over this week. You'll watch a movie. You get some pizza and a glass of wine. Y'all laugh, but start re-engaging humanity again. Lane, you're strong enough to hang on to do the transition wisely instead of this gap that you left between the incomes, which is now scaring you more than the burnout scared you. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? I, I have no reason to stress financially. I just got married in June, and, you know, I'm we're, hey, everything's great. So yeah, I feel Your, like I'm your stress human, is but. not about math. It's not about math. Your stress is that your body has been in fight or flight. It's been on cortisol and adrenaline for years, and it finally just said enough. You've been cranking through these tasks, and it, it just you, you've, you've been a, in, a, in a, a machine yeah. in a good way. But very robotic. But but uh, it got you through there, and you can go. You can go from here. So you you got the stuff it takes. You're just gonna have to make this transition a little more gentle, because uh, it's driving you nuts. Yeah. 